This podcast was sponsored by Ben Du. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate shortly for you how moving in workspaces um, has been implemented. And um, this has been a long awaited feature. And with this implementation, we recommend that you do not use the page and the branch type versioning anymore. The documents uh, like Insight Type 3 and Core API has been updated with this information. And um, you can read those if you need the technical details. But uh, really, the reason for using those page and branch versions has been to be able to move elements. For a page version, you can order the elements differently on a page. In the branch uh, version, you can reorganize pages. But the downside was how the IDs of um, the, the new versions would change, and thus you could lose links and so on. But now we finally managed to implement moving, although we thought it was completely uh, impossible and or at least extremely difficult and dangerous to implement it. So um, just to show you how it works uh, in a page tree, let's see. I'm in a custom workspace right now, which is not a bad thing for this demonstration. Um, but I think I'll go to the draft workspace, in fact. Um, here I have a full page tree. And first, let's take a look at it in the front end. What we see is. Mm, I think I'll use the front preview feature down here. So I get a preview in a full window. So I choose show. And uh, we just see a menu here. We can look at constant elements. We have the login page right here. Now we go back to the back end and we take the login page and um, move it up here, move uh, page into. So you see it, it uh, moved itself from here and up here. The icon changed to indicate that something uh, related to moving has happened in the workspace. And in uh, the front end, we can reload. You'll see the login page moved up here. Now to uh, convince you that this is, in fact, a preview, first of all, we always know in the uh, OK, it's, it used, used to be red, but in my side it isn't. Uh, but normally, you will know that this is a preview of a workspace. I now um, change this checkbox, so I go to the front end again. And if I reload, you'll see that this is uh, not anymore a, a preview of a workspace. And in fact, the login page on the live website is still positioned under the page constant elements. So moving off pages works uh, quite well like that and uh, is also reflected in the back end. We can, um, if you want to see the live workspace, we can see how uh, the page looks uh, right here. Now you see the login page is here. And what you see up here is a move to placeholder. So in fact, the technology behind is to, to place a record where you want to move another record. And this record uh, takes the, the, the right position and uh, uh, makes it possible for us to make the select uh, queries necessary in order to get elements in the right order and, and so on. So it's um, leaning against technology similar to adding a new record or um, adding a version for deleted. In fact, it's a sort of merge of those two technologies. We can do the same for a page, not in the case of Templar Volar, because usually with Templar Volar, you don't need to uh, move stuff around, um, constant elements. But uh, I have an example here of how elements can be placed in a column. So in the draft workspace, we have this order of the elements. So we click this button to reorder the elements. And now you see how they have swapped place. And the one we just moved below is uh, colored differently to indicate this is a version. You see the icon is different because it's an indication that here an element is inserted. It's a, a new location for the element or placeholder, as we call it. And all of this is also reflected in the front end, of course. So there you see the elements just swap place. and. Um, it's working very nicely. Um, we can um, again try to convince you that this is in fact a preview. So by disabling front end preview, going here, reloading uh, the front end. Yeah, there you'll see. <coughs> this is the live website. The other one is um, the, the workspace. So um, we can now 
um, go to the workspace manager here and in order to publish this particular moving operation we can just go and uh, publish this version of the record and it's, it's of course very easy to just do that like this we disable uh, the preview we go to the front end and as this was the live website before we reload and we should see the elements swap place because now we published the chain change um, just one final thing I want to show you about workspaces is a feature not related directly to moving but uh, related to publishing, swapping, releasing, setting stage for, for multiple elements but um, by checkbox. So really what you can do now is uh, from this overview just uh, check the elements you want. You can then publish them, you can uh, swap them, you can also release them meaning it's a sort of delete where they are just uh, put into the, um, they are taken out of the, the workspace, but not deleted actually. Uh, so you could still find them if you like um, uh, through the live workspace. We can also set the stage like reject, edit, review, publish, and finally we can actually flush records completely. Um, so if we go to the live workspace, we can see uh, this come in pretty handy because you all know that these lists in the live workspace can become really, really long uh, if you uh, view all workspaces and you view all records, then quite often you'll get uh, very long lists. What we also have now is browsing functionality. You'll need another uh, 30 records to see that because it will uh, allow uh, 50 records to show. But even though you have uh, hundreds of versions, you can now browse uh, through these versions and um, you have the functionality here with the checkbox to perform certain actions you would like to do. Uh, let's see if there are any more things. Yeah, um, the swapping functionality is improved so it uh, also allows you to actually swap new, deleted and moved records and uh, when you swap it back, a record that was otherwise deleted before would, would now be <laughs> reinserted. So um, this is also supported before only swapping of change content was supported. So all of these things are in the new version of Type 3 and um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Don't use page and branch versioning anymore. Stick to element versioning. It's a simple way. You don't lose your IDs and um, it's what we really recommend and may only support in the future. Cut.